quick opening. So you should be at the stage now where that is all the SEM board. Uh, drilling through the holes, putting in the M4 bolts through there. Uh, those obviously are the 16mm ones. We've also tapped those through with the M5 thread, putting the M5 50mm bolts through, along with the spring and the washer. I've also tapped those through and drilled those through with M3 using four 16mm M, 16 mil M3 bolts, hex bolts, two there and two on the opposite side. Now at this point, we come to fasten the lead screw along with the coupler and also the rear lead screw holder. We haven't drilled these holes. That's quite important that we haven't drilled these holes yet because what we're going to do is we're going to drill these in position in order to make sure that the Z bed is going to be nice and square and we get a smooth action. I've put the LM12 bearings, roller bearings, in position. All I did is just had to force them through. The resistance that we've got on the inside of the support bracket is just enough to make sure that they held in nice and snug. Whenever I've had a little bit of a problem uh, and to drive the one further down, I've just used a, a drill bit just to help put that through into position, just to get those nicely into position. It's just a matter of sliding some bearings into the housing. So what we need to do now is we position that into the bed area, pull one of the dead rods up, and just let it catch into position. And then once that's brought into position, pull the other Z rod in. And then line up the bottom, pull the bed up slightly, line up the bottom, pull the rod down. Pull the bed up slightly, line the bottom, pull it down. Okay, so we can now test that we've got the rod moving nicely up and down. Going for the bearing, get the bearings to settle in there, and now what we're going to do is get the lead screw. Anyway, so we'll put that up, line it up on the shaft. We're not screwing the motor in just yet, so that's obviously the nut and how that's going to operate. So what we need to do now, I'll just spin that down a little bit. Ready? Put in the bracket. What I'm looking at doing is just checking that my two drill holes are running nice and square in with the rod. Okay, that looks fine. What I should have is about a two millimeter gap either side of where the bracket fastens. So now that I'm happy with those, just gonna use a small drill bit to start with, something less than the M4 bolt that I'm going to be driving through, so I don't want to interfere with the thread that uh, I've already made in there. Make sure it's just level at the top, level at the top. Okay, so I've just marked those holes, so I can set that back out. Then I'll swap to a bigger drill. There's all the holes nicely drilled. And now I can drive my 16mm uh, M4 bolts through from the rear. So 
there'll be three of those either side. Okay, so that's that all in position. Just double check again. Got a nice, nice smooth movement there. And now I can attach the actual lead screw. One thing I'm missing, missing off these two uh, M4 screws is the washer. So I'm just going to get two washers. I want something fairly big um, and because I want to spread the load out of the flex on that. So I bring that into play, making sure obviously now that I've took those off, I've got my Z stop at the front. And there we have the Z drive, uh, the Z drive, and the Z bed, all nicely in place. You can see there if I turn the lead screw, the bed going up or going down or up. Now the good thing about this is, you get the backlash, and we get uh, any buckle in the lead screw. Uh, using the acrylic, and, and this acrylic that I particularly use is a polycarbonate as opposed to an acrylic. And that is because I actually want that little bit of flex that I've got. I'll try and tilt that up so you can see it a little bit more clearly on that. So that little bit of flex that I get there is exactly what I want. And that will also help to actually keep the bed steady rather than rock along with any rocking movements in the lead screw. And the, the purpose why I've chosen an, an M10 is to make sure that my lead screw is of a smaller diameter than my actual Z rods. Good solid 12 mil Z rod, those are the things which keep it solid. Any movement in this is absorbed through here, not affecting at the Z axis, at the, sorry, at the Z rods. So that's all what's going to keep the bed to have better position as it's moving, regardless of any flex that's actually in the lead screw.